Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you a journal that I just finished for a friend. And um, the thing is, I'm not going to show the, the video until she gets the, the journal, which should be in a couple days. But So if you're seeing this video, she has already got the journal, and it's okay for me to show you. She's my um, friend Angie, who sent me all that lace if you were watching any of my videos. <clears throat> You saw me share all the lace and the beautiful things that she's made and sent me for happy mail. So I wanted to do some happy mail for her. And she loves Marie Antoinette. And she is a black woman. So I did some graphics with black Marie Antoinette. Why not? <laughs> really? Um, so anyways, this is the cover. It's kind of a wide mouth, gator mouth, but not, not too bad. I thought it'd be worse than that and the side and the back um and i've done put some applique flowers on here and some a wedding appliques and this is a graphic i did from marie antoinette and this is some of the lace that angie sent me and this is also lace that she sent me um there's a lot of lace in here that she sent me and a lot that i have of my own so I think it's a good combination. So what I'm going to do is open it up now and show it to you. And these are the first two pages. And in here, well, that didn't stick too well. I'm going to have to redo that. In here I made a pocket so she can put um, letters or anything else that she wants in there. And um, I don't know. Oh, jeepers. Some of the lace got stuck. I just, uh, I was trying to finish this up last night. I was kind of tired. So don't finish things up when you're tired. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay. So I can't tell if you can see or not. Oh, I hate this camera. It doesn't always work right. As you know, if you've been around my videos, I'm always playing with the camera. Okay. Well, this is a tag. I did a lot of these cute little girl tags and I added these bows and these roses are from Angie and this is something from Angie as well and then my own appliques that I put on so um, this is also lace that Angie sent me they were um, vintage lace samples and I, what I did is I dyed a lot of them pink and I also cut them apart so that I could have trim on both sides of the page now I could have put, I should have put a card in, a uh, tag in here. I've got a lot of tags, and it's in here somewhere. <laughs> I know there's an extra one somewhere, so I will find it and put it in. And then we have, I made um, a room full of vintage dresses. I'm not sure if they're Marie Antoinette type dresses, but then I did a couple of cutout dresses that she can decorate, and I did decorate a couple that are in here. But I didn't want to do them all because in case she wanted to put some decorations on them. So I wanted to, I'm going to keep them out. <laughs> so I wanted to keep them for her. And then here is a pretty little girl and some applique. I love to use buttons on my pages and in my projects. And so I collect all kinds of buttons. So that's what I did here. And lace. And then here is a Marie Antoinette and this opens up I made a little you know place where she could write it's actually writing room <laughs> and it just goes back down under that little heart and here's some vintage um, bridal applique and this is a collage that I made a while ago and then I added to it for the um, can you see that I don't know added to it for this page I added extras that I didn't have on there and I made it into a little pocket and um, she is a Christian woman so I made some scriptures now these scripture tags are from my porch prints I didn't do them but I thought they fit perfectly nicely in here and Angie I purposely didn't put a rose on that I only did a couple of them because they get um, they get bulky so I just did a couple of them. There's a couple more in another place 
Um, I don't know if I put a rose on them or not. We'll find out when I get there. Okay. And then these two pages. And recently I started making myself some paper bows. And I really like how they look. You can color them and do anything you want with them. And then I made these. These are lace tags that I have in my shop as graphics. So I made her a couple of those and put some pretty um, tool on there and some lace here. And it says Paris. And it looks like she's looking at them going, hmm, what kind of a dress could I make out of them? So I'm not going to put them back either. <laughs> But this is the page. Angie made this little piece right here, and I love it. So I had to use it. And uh, doesn't she look like she's wondering what she's going to make next? Of course. And then over here, I made some more of these. And she's got a lot of lace samples, real ones. And she could, be, she could put anything in here. Take these out and put anything in there that she wants. These are just lace cards that I have made. And then what I did was I um, doubled this and I used double foam tape so that it's a pocket. You can put anything behind there as a pocket. And she sent me this flower. She sent me a bunch of these flowers which were all white and I um, dyed them. And then over here I made, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, a lit, our bedroom um, that I thought maybe Marie Antoinette would like to sleep in or maybe Angie would like to sleep in and put some pretty lace up here from Angie and then I made this Marie Antoinette tag and she's um, thinking about what she's going to do next as well <laughs> contemplating is she going to go to the dressing table and get dressed and go out or is she going to her bedroom and go to bed if she's like me, she's going to bed. <laughs> and then over here, I thought, well, we have to have an antique house. Now, these houses are in my um, Etsy shop. I have them up as graphics. And over here is an antique bag. Um, actual, like, uh, bag that you can put things in. And I have these in my shop as well. You get... Um, two of each. I have a couple different sets, a couple different kinds. So, but I wanted to put them in here and a bow. And then here is a pretty little girl card to match. I know she's not an antique, but I think she's pretty and I like her bow. And I think the bows match. So I hope you like that, Angie. And over here, you can put more. This is another pocket. I didn't want to overload this because it was already, you know, pretty hard to shut. And I didn't want to be so um, hard on the spine. So even though I used uh, wax linen uh, thread and I doubled it and I also did uh, extra stitches to keep the, um, the signature in, the pages in, which, which I always do because I think it's important. Oh, and it's also backed with the Tyvek, which does not rip. So I, I really um, Try, I want to make it very secure so it's not going to fall apart anytime soon. Because if you're going to look through it or use it, you need to have some, you need it to be strong. Okay, now they, these two pages, Angie made this plaque here, this um, sculpted clay girl and the dress, and this one as well. And I turned it into a graphic for her, and I um, have a tag here that she can write on but I decorated up a pretty dress to go with you know it didn't match exactly I wasn't trying to get it to match just make it a pretty uh, Victorian dress or Queen Anne dress and same thing over here with a tag and then a dress now see I didn't do all the dresses there's about six dresses in here I didn't know if, if you would like the glitter or not Angie and I thought well you can decorate them up any way you want, but I thought that these two especially look nice with your girls here that um, you you sculpt, hand sculpted and painted, which are beautiful and made their clothes, which is amazing. Mine were made out of paper. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, and there's some appliques up there. And then over here, this is another bag, and I put one more 
decorated gown in there that I put um, for you, Angie, to play with. We're still like little girls and boys. We No, not boys, girls. <laughs> I'm confused today. And this is a vintage boutique bag, so it's a bag. And you made this, Angie, and I think it looks like a little purse. And I thought, well, these girls are all dressed up, so they need a purse. And isn't she cute? I think she's so cute. And I decorated them. This is some of that lace that you had on the sample cards, the vintage ones. I dyed them and then cut them apart and used them. It was it was a lot of fun to do that. And then over here, Angie, you made this. You probably know that. But she sent me this piece here. And she also sent me this lace. And I love it. So I used it. And this went perfectly on there. So I said, I've got to put that on there. And then... Here's another card, another, well, Marie Antoinette, maybe when she was younger because her wig is kind of black instead of white. <laughs> and then over here is a couple more of the scriptures. And they, they go behind this, okay? And one has a, a ribbon rose and one doesn't. But then you can open this up, pull it down, and you can write on it. So, I mean, I, I gave you a little bit of writing room. Not a lot, I know. But um, you can always write on the tags. You can write on the back of them. And then over here we have another um, parlor scene or dressing room scene. And I'm still getting some glue uh, strings out of here. And I have a dress here for you to decorate if you want. And then a Paris bag. And I put a couple of Paris, oh, look at that. You were hiding on me, huh? A couple of Paris tags in there, so you could write on them. And a little charm, and um, that's Paris. But inside, no, okay. So this is trimmed here. Then we go over here. Now, Marie Antoinette is famous for her cake statement. Let them eat cake, the peasants let them eat cake. So I gave you a big, um, cake here and here's another picture of a Marie Antoinette and she's sitting and lounging in her comfortable chair eating cake and I'll put that in afterwards and having tea so these are also your vintage laces Angie that you sent me and I dyed and this is lace from you and look I have some applique lace that matches the lace you sent isn't that cool I love it and then over here is a dining room tag that I would imagine, hmm, that I imagine maybe Angie you would like. I, I've seen your dining room is gorgeous. This is not gorgeous like that, but I thought, well, it's pretty. So I'll, I'll put that in there. And then here I have a little applique and just use this as a place to put tags. And you can write on them, put special dates on them. And Angie, you made this, and I love it, and it worked out very nice. This is some lace that I have. And then what this is, this is another pocket. I didn't put anything in, but it's tracing paper that I printed on, and I fold it over this way and put the lace on. And then I put a tag up there in the um, fold over. And you can put anything you want in there, but that's just to show you. And there's a tag there. Now, isn't that a pretty bathroom? I love this bathroom. So then I put this pretty little girl. She's not really Victorian, I know. But she was so darn cute, I couldn't leave her out. I said, oh, I've got to make a tag out of this girl. She's so cute. So I know you have a granddaughter, so I thought maybe you would like that for her. And here's some more of your... Um, vintage lace that you sent me that I dyed. And here's another house. Um, you know what? This I'm going to have to remake this bow because some glue got on there and I took it off and it, it left a scar. <laughs> here's a house, another Victorian house. And this is a pocket with some applique and a pretty um, blue Marie Antoinette tag. That you can write on and some applique and then over here oh this is where okay I have 
I couldn't figure out what I left out. I, I had um, I had these, I believe, in there instead of piled up. Oh, I'll have to fix it. Anyways, there's um, tags that go in here. And what happened here, I thought this was a third picture. And actually, it's the same picture as this one here. I thought it was a different picture, but it's not because I had made three of these. And I put the one other one. Where are you? Here. And so I thought I had one, two. No, oh, that's the same one I just showed you. Ah. Okay. Let's, let's find it. Here it is. Okay. And this is the second one. And I thought this was the third one, but it was the same as the first one that I put in. So I apologize. Um, you got doubles. What can I say? I'm sorry. <laughs> and here's more of that pretty lace that I dyed. And here is another pretty tag. And then, oh, I love this living room, and I thought of you. I, I know you must have a gorgeous living room. I, ha I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's gorgeous. And then I put two tags of two girls sitting on chairs here. So they go in there. And then over here is, oh, boy. That's the one thing with lace. It gets stuck on everything. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. It's stuck on the lace, and I'll... Well, I don't know if I'll include it, because I don't want it to rip the lace. There we go. Okay, it was... I might change this out. And uh, it was just a metal tassel to hold these tags in that, that are blank on the back, so you can write on them. And this is just a pretty page. And then these are the last two pages. Um, look very much the same as the front, except the trim here is a little different. And you have this girl and this tag. And also, you have a pocket here, which is supposed to be just like the front, but it didn't glue. So I'll re-glue that. So that's what you have. I hope you like it. Um, I had fun making it. I, I really, really did. And the thing is with these, you once you start, you can't stop. And, and <laughs> I just said I have to stop and get this done. So I'm hoping to get it in the mail to you today. And, um, but you've already got it, so because this video is not going up to you till you have it. So anyways, um, thanks for stopping by. And if you like my video, I hope you will give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. Oh, and I just wanted to say, my I've got these long sleeves on because I had blood taken the other day. And this lady that didn't normally work there, she um, got my hand and made it all swell up. And you know how that goes. So I just, I just wanted to cover it up because it's kind of gross to look at. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Anyways. So, all right. Thank you for stopping by. Please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.